Hi there. So we continue focusing on the workflow and how to do things within your digital audio workstation and how the different digital audio workstations differ from each and every. So we have looked now already to Ableton Live, Pro Tools, Logic Pro X, Luna and uh, Studio One. In this video we will look at how to do audio routings in uh, Cubase, specifically focusing on side chaining, parallel processing and submixes or bus mixes. So let's get going with Cubase and see how it is configured and done for that type of an audio routing. Okay, let's uh, work with uh, Cubase and see how to advance audio routing is done in Cubase. So uh, we'll start with um, parallel processing and establish a parallel processing pattern in, in Cubase. In parallel processing you always want to most likely add some effect to your um, main audio track. Now I have actually created two audio tracks. One is a piano and it's called audio and then another one is kick that is um, currently silenced. So they both, if you look from here, they go to stereo out and there is no processing other than it goes directly to stereo out. But now if I would like to add an effect to audio, for example, and other tracks that I might have, I can go over here and then basically right click and say add a track and then add a FX channel to select it channel. So I could select multiple and um, I could basically say that um, I, I have a played reverb that I, I will actually has, have as a uh, FX. So I'll do a reverb, a played reverb channel. So now I have created a played reverb channel. And um, if I go back to the audio track and I go into the sense, I can see here that now in addition that the audio is, is sent directly to stereo out, it, it is also routed in parallel to the played reverb. And now we should hear some reverb as a uh, parallel to the regular or standard audio that is going into stereo out. So let's play a bit. And from here I can actually control how much I want to send the signal into the FX channel. Additionally, I can here control how much effect I want to include into the main out that is going from audio to stereo out. So if I click into the reverb, uh, it basically is sending it to stereo out as well. So, so it it is kind of summing the stereo out is now summing these two tracks. Now I hear only a dry sound, but then when I add reverb, I hear the reverb and the dry sound. When doing parallel processing, you always have, of course, a full wet solo. Like here you have it, um, you have a switch for it or you could even control it from here, but this is kind of plugging dependent. Anyway, this is how you do a parallel processing in uh, in uh, in Cubase. And um, next, we will look into how to do a bus mix or sub mix in in uh, Cubase. So um, we'll uh, let's turn the the effects chain off, so now we don't hear any effects. Just plain playing um, audio from both of these channels. And, and they go straight to, or, uh, straight to stereo out as, as you have seen. But hey, let's go and create now a bus or a group. So we can go over here and add a track and say that group, se uh, group channel to selected channels. And then I could actually create now a, I just call it a bus. So 
so the bus is is basically now created and if i go into the audio track and i look it is now routed into the bus and and same applies for the kick and um, of course it created a group for it but it didn't group these tracks into that into that group so you could also then move them so that they all are in that same group and um, and and so so both uh, all of those like the the bus and the audio tracks are all within the group so you can open and close them and 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 see see them through the group okay so now when i'm uh, d playing you can see that the audio is going into the bus and if i silence the bus it still basically goes and and plays the tracks but as they are summed into this uh, summing bus you don't hear anything because i silenced it also if i would now go into the effect channel and and um, oh actually sorry our audio channel and into sense and enable the send i could hear now the the reverb and if i just silence the bus now i only hear the reverb and now again i hear the both tracks that are summed into the into the bus then of course if you would like to do now a kind of a bus processing you could do and add some in inserts here you could basically you know do some compression um, and uh, you could you could do a compression for both of those so while while it is playing you can now compress both sounds um, and and things like that but that's of course based on your needs and taste that you know how you want to compress the sound that is is within the bus usually you do, do these buses for drums and other instruments as the need might be so this is how you can do a, a bus mix or sub mix in in um, in in uh, in Cubase. All right. Then we have one more to go, and that is that is pretty much a side chain. So so that that is something that you usually would like to do. For example, you would like to side chain the piano with the kick so that the kick will kind of break through or any audio that you would like to kind of uh, push the other audio down so that it's it's more kind of uh, hearable so you you can do that uh, using uh, using uh, side chaining so how to do side chaining in uh, in cubase is is following so let's go and find a uh, uh, pro q uh, sorry, pro C, and add that as an effect. So now we have pro pro um, C compressor added into audio uh, track, and uh, we would like the audio to duck when the kick is 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 hitting into, and and that's basically you go over here and you can activate the sidechain and you can add a sidechain source from here and and now i only have one track so it's quite easy busy so now i have added a sidechain input in the, this um, this effect and i have it also enabled this is enabled and disabled to the sidechain if i go into the kick and i go into the sense i can from here see that this kick is also sent into the prosy side chain and and uh, and over here when we open this one we can actually see that now once we play the audios uh the kick is side chaining the the the, the piano that is playing oh sorry um i need to put the external of course And then I made it extreme, so you can see that when the kick is hitting the the, 
the main signal is uh, is is compressed and uh, if you basically also put a long release then it takes a while before the main signal will pick up after the kick is hitting and and this is how you set up a side chaining in um, in in Cubase so that's pretty much it when it comes to advanced audio processing so we looked at how to do parallel processing we looked at how to do and set up a bus mix or sub mix and then also we looked how to create a side chaining within Cubase so that's it alrighty that was Cubase and we have one more to go and that's Reason. So next we will dive into Reason and see how the audio routing is done in Reason. So remember to subscribe for the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye now.